Hello guys and welcome back, today I am gonna share with you some great asset, add-ons, and also some pretty stuff that you guys might skipped, all of them are free and easy to use, so without any further ado, let us jump into it. Starting off, we are gonna take a look at the stylized fantasy tree generator which is a beautiful tool you can append on your project, and you can use it to create some awesome stylized trees. The version currently available support the basic tree generating, with procedural textures and some basic leaf materials. This first version works only with Blender 3.1 Beta, but there are plans to update it soon which gonna include wind animations and leaf falling. Now to get this and play with it, you need to visit the site as shown and download it. Then once you open it in Blender, you will get this wonderful tree without even changing anything. So with sliding those numbers on the right, and just changing the color, an entire new amazing tree is generated, this being free is absolutely great. The next one is an add-on called M-Tree, and it allows you to make trees with nodes by just clicking buttons, and it don't really requires you to know anything about nodes or modeling. You just open a new work window, and in the type selection, you will find the M-Tree node. After that, you hit the new button, and on the side panel, you can choose one of the pre-made types for a tree to start with. Then you load the presets to get this node set, we can now zoom in on this one node and just hit create tree. There's also a couple of nodes that you can go through. So for example to get some leaves on those branches, we can add a twig node and hit execute, and a leaf sample will show up, then we go back to the main node and enable the leaves by assigning the sample. You can also go back and change any parameter for this tree. One thing about this add-on is that this version works only with Blender 2.82 and less, so for Blender 3 there is a new version of this M-Tree add-on, but it doesn't have the tree samples, only the nodes, still quite impressive to have it for free and you can always have more than one Blender version. Third in line is the sapling tree generator, this one is built in Blender, so you just need to check the box and enable it, and now you can find it with the curves, so once we add it, you will have a settings window on the left bottom corner, we can open it and change any kind of settings to shape the tree, I usually change the geometry first, then I jump to the leaves section and enable it, with the last two options we can add some armature on our tree and animate it in the easiest way, how cool is that?
The tree generator add-on is an external one, this allows you to create fast and easy trees in no time, and with many options to go with, so once you enable it, it will locate here on the side panel, and here we can just select the tree type, load the parameters, and hit generate tree, and you can go back and generate as much trees as you need. One thing with this add-on is that it has no materials with those trees, so you kinda need to drop some textures over them, still cool and easy load for both Archviz and game assets. The last one we have is the Max Trees, a really nice resource for trees and grass, they're all completely free and works really well with the asset browser, trees are the soul for any exterior scene, and you might try to generate them but having this amount of high quality trees is really awesome, so to get those, you need to visit the Max Tree site, and just register with your email, they will send you a link for those trees, and here they are. It also come with those thumbs for easily picking the one you like. So in any scene, if you have one or more of those trees, you can just select it from the layer and hit markers asset, and it will be added to your asset library, you do need to go to preferences and assign a path for your library, then you just save the file, and they are now usable in any scene you have, so that's it guys, stay sharp, goodbye.